What's going on everyone? It's your boy Savvy and welcome back to the Savvy Show. And in today's episode, looking at the title and the thumbnail, looks like we got a scary one on our hands today, guys. Man, I, I hope we do. The last one was um from Dr. Bob with the um, the giant skeletons. Those are crazy. <laughs> Yo, the animation for those is kind of brazy. So hopefully this might be close, if not on the same level. I doubt it, but yo, I want this to be hot for us, man. Because, ugh, let's just get straight into it, man. This is SCP-965, the face in the window. So this is why I pause, because I hope it's not just like literally a face in a window, you know? Like, I, I hope it's the face and then we could see him like you know it's an actual anomaly and creature and maybe not like an illusion or something that is just trapped in a window because yes there might be a jump scare but how how scary would that really be at the end of the day but who knows scps could take wild turns so and you already know your boy's down for the ride so with that being said if you guys are also down too remember to smash that like button if you do enjoy this reaction and remember to smash the sub button join the family if not already part of it i make content like this daily so you get your daily fix of scp heat i'm telling you if you like my reaction style, you like SCP content, this is the best place to be to get that dose of heat. And also remember, smash that bell so you can stay plugged for each and every upload. Now, without any further ado, let's get this show started. Alrighty, the face in the window, SCP-965. Viewer discretion is advised. It was just a room with a bed and a window. What could go wrong? The D-Class thought and has never been so wrong as he huddled tensely in the bed, wishing that the man would stop staring at him through the window Damn and go away. Goofy. He began to be afraid to fall asleep, as he would have nightmares of being chased and tormented. Even when he was Ooh, awake, he found no peace, as the shadowy man always appeared at the edge of his vision and vanished as quickly as he turned his head. Lately, the shadowy man has started to wear a sinister smile across his face. He began to grow restless and developed insomnia, and soon vomited blood. His nightmare had become just a little bit realer. Hello, everybody. Yo, did he become the person? The, okay, this might be actually a convoluted SCP. I'm the rubber. Today, we bring you a SCP Foundation Euclid class object, SCP-965. SCP-965, also known as the face in the window, is a humanoid-shaped visual manifestation within <laughs> oh framed my windows. God. The Robert. manifestation takes the shape of a shadowed face of a pale-skinned male that is looking through the window. For 965 to manifest itself, the outside of the window must be dim enough, regardless of lighting on the inside. Once it manifests, it doesn't move or animate in any way. However, it has been observed to be capable of disappearing and reappearing in different poses. Oh, wow. So it's actually a full-body anomaly. Okay, I thought it was just like a head in a window. It has also shown signs of sentience. When it manifests on a window of an empty room, it appears disappointed. When it manifests in front of a person who had broken a previous window, which 965 inhabited, it displays irritation and anger. Uh -oh. And when it manifests in front of the agent who participated in its retrieval, 965 shows visible signs of fear. Uh -huh. Initial effects caused by 965 include reports of unease, nervousness, and mild paranoia. These sensations will overcome anyone within visual range of the manifestation, even when it's being obscured by curtains. Bro. It was also reported that some residents of the house where 965 was discovered have also encountered problems sleeping. The Foundation ran an experiment. Several D-Class personnel were made to sleep in a chamber with a window where 965 inhabited was- This guy have a crack on his head? Literally, it looks like he has a crack. Oh my god, we'll just keep it pushing. Installed. <laughs> The findings of the experiment state that anyone who sleeps in any area visible to 965 when it appears will suffer nightmares, Dang. which usually involve being chased, attacked, and tormented. Soon, it will begin to manifest with a more explicit smile than normal, at which point the That's subject will begin smiles. to experience heartburn or <laughs> abdominal pains, and often begin to vomit blood or have blood in bodily wastes. Oh my God. Even after being removed from the vicinity of 965, some subjects have also reported their continued experiences of the facial manifestations in windows during dreams, Still? as well as in their peripheral vision while awake. Bro, so it's more than just a window. You can see them through a glass of water? Okay, this is more than just... 
<laughs> face in the window. This is actually kind of cool. They become paranoid, always feeling that they were being watched or followed. I 965 that doesn't seem to discriminate against the age of its victims, as shown in the following incident. A daycare assistant from the South walked into a room one day while the children were doodling with crayons. He glanced over the table, seeing drawings that were the representations of the children's psychologies, such as kids taller than one parent, kids under the rain, and kids shooting at Someone's various animals. Draw the SCP. He stumbled upon a child who he called Thomas. And what he drew on the paper caught his attention. It was a crude crayon drawing of a window. The lines were unsightly crooked, giving it a juvenile feel. On the lower right corner of the window, there was a humanoid head shape with two black eyes and nothing else. Is this how Thomas sees me? You think that's Thomas? you? Thomas was <laughs> well. always a weird child. A four-year-old boy who simply refused to sleep during nap time. I wonder why. Other kids who didn't sleep would just stare plaintively at the adults until they got embarrassed and walked away. <laughs> but eventually, they all fell asleep. Okay. But Thomas, instead of falling asleep, he would fake being deep in sleep until the assistant leaves the room. But as soon as he returned, Thomas would be found with his eyes open, staring at him. What the hell is going on with him? He wondered. <laughs> And so he devised a plan to get the child to sleep. Where's the SCP he at his house? eyes on the child. Thomas would notice, then lay down and close his eyes. The assistant sat across him and stared at Thomas. His eyelids fluttered, slowly opening his eyes and glanced upward. Their eyes met, and Thomas quickly clamped shut his eyes. It repeated and went on for 20 minutes, until the assistant noticed something weird about Thomas's breathing. It became increasingly rapid. Suddenly, he started to cry. Quit looking! Quit looking! Please quit looking! And the assistant thought he had won that round, no. and Thomas would finally stop faking being asleep. According <laughs> he wasn't faking those symptoms. Like, are you kidding me? He was actually crying. He was breathing really heavy. Unless he's really committed to faking not wanting to sleep. I, I think there's a reason why. To the parents, Thomas had been seeing a therapist and he kept mentioning nightmares about somebody staring at him, constantly staring. Jeez. A kid having nightmares about me staring at him? I'm flattered, I Bro, guess. You have How a big can a head, kid who doesn't you. sleep have nightmares? He thought to himself. As he looked at the drawing in his hand, the black eyes of the figure were starting to deeply unsettle him. He noticed something on the other side of the sheet. He flipped it over and saw the smaller sets of the same drawing of the window and a face sprawled all over the entire surface of the paper. The crude black eyes of the figures seemingly stared at him. They kept looking. They wouldn't quit looking. Feeling uneasy, he walked urgently to the room where Thomas usually slept, with the drawing clenched in his hand. He opened the door, facing the dim, empty room. At the other end, sunlight beamed weakly through the window casting light on the ground in front of Thomas's bed. See if he's there. He pulled up a chair and placed it across the bed, where he sat and stared at him. He sat and looked at the drawing once again. A window and a face. He imagined from Thomas's perspective as if he's sleeping on the bed across from him. He looked at the drawing again. It didn't make sense to him. He thought to himself, this is wrong. The window's to my right. Then something dawned on him. Was it not me that he was worrying about? No shit. His hand that was holding <laughs> the drawing started to tremble as he turned and placed it in between him and the window. He slowly removed the drawing oh from his God. vision and finally came face to face with the horror behind the drawing. It was not him that Thomas saw. It was the face in the window. As for its containment procedure, 965 must be contained within a framed window, which was referred to as SCP-965-1, okay. composed of at least six panes of clear glass or similar material. How do you get them in there? 965-1 must in turn be kept with a facility that is capable of withstanding significant seismic disturbances. Remember and how, how did you my new animation oh, channel, The Rub- How did you retrieve him? That's what I want to know. Like... Was someone waiting for him to manifest a window and they just took the window down? And then if you take the window out of like the wall, he has to stay there. He can't disappear because it, it did state that he could just disappear. 
I'm just gonna manifest another window if this one breaks. So like if you take it out, would he still be stuck there? And that's how they like transferred him to the, the window they made at the facility, which is still kind of weird. How would you transfer that unless he wants to do that willingly? I don't know. I, I know um animations always don't give you the greater detail of the SCP, but um it's just something curious that I would like to find out. But I'll probably read the file anyway. If you guys did enjoy this reaction, please remember to smash that like button. Also, in the comment section below, let me know what you guys thought about this SCP. If you guys had the same questions I did, or if you guys have the answers to the questions I had. So, yeah. And also remember to smash the sub button and hit that bell so you can stay plugged for each and every upload. And unfortunately, that concludes today's episode. However, I'll catch you guys on the next one.